Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to cartoon the Mandalorian. So come on, let's get started. Hey guys, it's Star Wars Day. It's my favorite day of the year after Christmas and my wedding anniversary. So I've been itching to do this video for a little bit, but uh, I wanted to hold off and save it for this day. So let's celebrate International Star Wars Day together and let's dive into this drawing. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a cartoon version of our favorite Mandalorian. And what we're going to want to start with is a decent pose. So what I'm going to do, because we're going to draw him with cartoon-like proportions, I'm going to give him uh, about a six-head tall um, frame. This is where his waist is going to be. And uh, let's give him... A cool pose all right so we're gonna have his body leaning on this leg right here so the hip is gonna be a little higher on this side and uh, let's see let's um, I'm going to put one hand uh, on his on his hip. He's going to be grabbing at his utility belt right here on his hip. And uh, let's see. Try. Got to be careful with this. You could make him look feminine if you're not careful. So it's actually on the way. Don't worry. We'll fix it. Um, and. Let's see, yeah, it'd be down here. So halfway would be his knee. Now you see, when you're drawing a character like the Mandalorian, you've got to remember that he's a lone gunman, right? He's a guy that plays by his own rules. He's got a hip swagger to him. He's like Shaft, you know, it's, um... Who put the man in Mandalorian? Paul? Darn right. Uh... Moving along. Um... Knee... He's not... <laughs> His uniform isn't symmetrical, so I'm not going to pretend that it is. Let's see. All right. Now, um, let's get this together here. I'm going to tilt his helmet ever so slightly like this. And we'll refine that pose in a minute. Okay. And now this, I'm, um, let's, We are going to have his blaster in his hand here. He's a bounty hunter and a mercenary. What do you want? So now what we're going to do is we're going to dive into a lot of the armor. And by a lot, I mean he's got a lot going on. We're going to simplify some stuff. We're going to make sure we incorporate all of the important aspects of his uniform. So first, what you got to remember, he's wearing Mandalorian battle armor. So we've got an underplate here, um, and if there's anybody watching from uh, from the 501st or from the from the uh, the Mando Mercs, um, I apologize. I don't know all the names of the of the armor. So let's um, before we do anything else, let's get these plates in here. So. We've got some chest plating going on here. All right. 
side. Now, you gotta split it down the middle because from here, that plate is going to be very, uh, very much um, symmetrical. He's a Mandalorian and they all have this, uh, this shape in the center here. Or they have that incorporated in their armor. And from there, I will separate like this and make sure it's in there like that. Okay. I don't want to go too dark because we're going to put um, a bandolier over. Uh, but from here, now what I'm going to want to do is make sure his cape kind of billows from here. So he has this cape that's coming out from in there and it's going over his shoulders. It's going around his neck. Like so. All right, now that I mentioned the bandolier, I should probably put that in. So the bandolier, I'm gonna go across like this. All right, so he has some cylinders in here. I'm not sure if that's ammo or if those are for for the drives, but let's throw those in. All right, like that. Got another one separated right up here. It's a little thicker. Okay. Get a shape in there like that. And then he has a buckle and a fastener right here. Now this part will attach to his belt. And his belt was drawn just a little too low. So I'm going to fix that right now. And his belt has a big pouch here. And then he's got some other attachment here, but he's, it's actually gonna be covered by his hand. Over here, we're going to have this really cool looking fastener. It's gonna be shaped like this. I'm gonna have some pouch here. And then I believe the bandolier attaches the belt with these bolts here. Okay. But it's also just below where the bandolier meets, we're going to have his blaster holster. So from this angle, it's just going to be a shape like so. And he has the uh the the clasp here to hold it in place and it's going to be open because he's going to be carrying it some padding here and it's going to come underneath the belt like so let's draw on his pants because i really want to get some of that uh that cartoony aspect in here without making it look silly so he has he has a guard here a little armor plate looks like it's encased in leather it's got some stitching here and he has a knee guard of sorts and that's going to cap like that and uh let's see because it's star wars it has all these cool little 
little um, instruments and, and details. Now, I can finally do some cartoony aspects here. I'm going to bag out his pants just a little bit. I don't want him to look silly. Uh, and then, we've got his boot. All right, I clearly didn't draw his his leg long enough because <laughs> I'm re I'm re redrawing it. Actually, it's <laughs> the correction is correct, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, so there we go. We've got his boot in there like this. Okay, so now we've got another shin guard here, but it's going to be a different shape. It's going to be a little bigger. And it's going to shape like this. All right. Now this boot is going to be a little different. We've got this cool looking knee guide and it looks like it has a, a weapon concealed in it. And then I'm just going to very lightly draw in some lines like this. Then I'm going to um, draw in a band here. And then more of those Star Wars cylindrical pieces here. Okay. Got another band here to keep all of that in place. And then it's about even his even his boots are a little different on either end. Okay. So we've got this in here. Now let's draw in. Um, let's put his hand in place here. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to, yeah. Okay. We got one finger in here. We got another one like that. We're going to give him that guide there that he has on his, the back of his hand. A little design in there like that. Okay. So we've got his glove in place. He wears gauntlets on his forearms so let's draw that in this gauntlet has this ornamentation right here and there we have that on his shoulder he's wearing a piece of armor here like that And because of the angle that we're drawing, we're not going to see all the the, uh, the 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 decals and stuff, which is too bad. Yeah, we got some battle scarring there on the on the thing. Okay. All right. So okay. There we go. All right, make it a look a little cartoony, because that is the goal. 
All right, now let's take care of the other side here. Um, let's give him... his other guard there. And we've got another gauntlet here. Let's figure out, uh, well first, let's try in the blaster and then we'll draw the hand around it. The hand is going to be here, um, but let's figure out the blaster. So we've got uh, one way of doing it is to draw in a rough box like this for the handle, okay? And then you're gonna wanna draw A long thin box outside of that nice and loose nice and light we're going to erase a lot of the detail that we just drew in there okay and now I know where I can put his thumb and then wrap his fingers around I'm gonna have the blaster handle coming out from below and then draw those other fingers and then we'll want to make sure that his index finger is raised because that's where it's going to be around the trigger all right so let's see if we can get this to look like a Mandalorian blaster here. I'm going to shade this part in like so and let's follow in what the reference is showing me here. So this is going to be a little wider then it's going to get a little thinner here as it goes down the barrel. That is thinner. And then we have the muzzle of the barrel and that's gonna come out a little bit. Okay, now let's dive into this awesome helmet. So the Mandalorian uh, first of all, I don't like the shape, even if it is cartoony. There we go. It's got to look more like a like a bell. Okay, so he's going to be tilted a little bit here, like so. And now let's I'm going to tilt the paper, make it easier on myself. Okay. So we've got the eye line in place. I'm going to go right up the center of the of the helmet and then that visor T shape is going to be angled upward like that okay now from there I'm going to accentuate that T shape like this And then this is where people get it wrong. That little cut in there like that. It can be tricky on certain angles. Now I'm not making it easy on myself right now. So, let's see, there we go, just like that. Okay, jets out a little bit from there. Like that. a little bit of a jutting there. And now, above the visor opening, where his lenses are, 
We've got some rings there. He's got some instrument paneling there on the side. And then, right up the center of the dome, we've got some detail work like that. Now let's round this out a little bit better. Just like so. It's got some more instrument paneling there and along the side there, just like that. Okay. We've got this bandolier going. What hooks on the back of the bandolier but his big long blaster rifle? That if anybody has ever seen the the uh, Star Wars Holiday Special. And if you haven't, you can save yourself the time. It's god awful. But if you didn't know, that was the special where we got our first glimpse of Boba Fett back in 1978. And Boba Fett carried around this blaster rifle. So this is actually a nod to the very first sighting of Boba Fett. Because as you may or may not know, John Favreau, who is the showrunner and uh, the director of the, the Iron Man movies, he is a huge Star Wars fanboy. I think Lucasfilm hiring him on was probably the best thing they've done since they've been acquired by Disney. Okay, so now that we've got that in, let's throw in that awesome cape of his. And let's have it... Let's have it coming out a little bit. I'm just going to shade it in a little, just a little. Just to differentiate it from the figure himself. And there we go. Guys, if you like drawing this with me, please give the video the thumbs up. And I've got some other Star Wars content you can check out right now. It's right here. I want to thank you guys so much. Happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And until the next video, we'll see you later.